G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the ad audience and ad campaign activities and show you how to use and configure them in Journey Builder. So the ad audience and ad campaign activities in Journey Builder are part of the Advertising Studio Advertising Audiences. These two activities allow you to add your subscribers who are in a journey to an advertising campaign which you can then publish to your advertising social media networks. Before we can use the ad audience and ad campaign activities in Journey Builder, we have to have purchased advertising audiences and also have configured at least one destination in our advertising audiences administration screen. If you're not sure how to do that, then check out my video that I've done previously. I'll put a link in the description below. So to start with, let's have a look at the ad audience activity. I'm here on a brand new journey. It's a multi-step journey. And I can see under my left-hand side context menu under the advertising tab, I have my ad audience activity. I can drag and drop that into my journey canvas and then click on it to view the configuration options. Now the ad audience activity is going to create a new advertising audience for us and add every subscriber that comes through that audience to that ad audience. So my first step is to create an audience name. I'll choose journey audience. There we are. I then choose the destination that I want to publish this audience to. For this one I'll choose my LinkedIn account. Now each screen will be different depending on which destination you choose. For now, the LinkedIn one just says to add my ad account. Which is my advertising account, just like that. It's going to match in the source attribute as the email address used in this journey. So every subscriber that comes through this journey and enters this tile will be added to this advertising audience and published to my LinkedIn profile. And then choose done. And after a few seconds, once the activity is completed, it now shows the ad audiences being created. I can jump back into my advertising audiences and if I refresh my advertising audience screen, I'll hopefully see my brand new audience. And there we are, my brand new journey audience has been created. Now the useful thing about this audience is it's a very, very easy process. I can simply drag and drop that ad audience onto my journey canvas and every subscriber that goes through that tile is going to be added to that audience. The downside is, is that once you're added to the audience, there is no way to remove a subscriber from that audience now in there for life. Now this can be useful for creating lists of customers that are known for a specific attribute. For example, you can add this to your welcome campaign to add every subscriber who joins your platform into a welcome campaign audience, which you can then send to your social media network as your current list of customers. The same thing could occur for all customers that have made a purchase, an inquiry, or some other kind of meaningful action in your business. But again, the downside is that once that customer is on the audience, there is no way to remove them. So you can't keep that audience up to date with a time-based criteria such as customers who purchased in the last 60 days. Again, once a subscriber goes into that tile, they are in that audience forever. So let's now take a look at the ad campaign activity. The ad campaign I can drag and drop onto my journey canvas and then click on it to see the configuration options. Now the ad campaign activity only works for Facebook. So you have to make sure you've connected your Facebook account before you try and use the ad campaign activity. So our first step is to choose an audience name. This one I'll choose FB Journey. Next I can choose my ad account. Then for our data origin, I can choose the user provided only data. This means my data is first party and is coming from my marketing cloud as user provided data. You can also give a description if I choose. If I scroll down, I can see it'll publish on the Facebook ad network with the attribute of email addresses, which means the email address attribute used in Journey Builder will be published as the email address to match on in Facebook. Refresh rate will occur once per day. I can see here for my retention period, I can choose to leave all contacts in there forever. That is, contacts will be not removed. Or I can choose to remove contacts after a certain number of days. For example, after two weeks. Once complete, I can then press next. On the next page, I can choose my creative for my ad. My first step is to choose the Facebook page to advertise on. Once I choose my page, I can give myself a creative name. This will be my ad. I can have some ad text as well. This is an ad. I can also add the URL, headline, display link, the link description, and of course, an image for my banner as well. Once all complete, I can press on next. On this page, we can choose our campaign configuration options. For my advertising campaign name, I've chosen test ad, and for the ad category, I've chosen other. Under my total spend, I've got $150, 
with a daily budget of $2. Now you can come back in and change this pacing if you like, as currently it should approximately run for about 75 days. Once complete, you can then click on Next to view our summary, and once you're happy with it, press Done to publish the ad. Now the great thing about the ad campaign activity in Jenny Builder is it's really easy to set up those campaigns for your Facebook advertising. As you saw, you can simply jump in, drop the tile into your journey, and then publish the ad that you need for that particular campaign. This can be really useful for small marketing teams, or also for very simple campaigns, such as a welcome campaign or a thanks for your purchase. The downside is, of course, that for larger marketing teams, or teams that have a much more robust performance media spend, you may want a more robust configuration for your advertising campaigns. And so the smaller interface you get in Marketing Cloud might be too small and too simple for your more complex campaigns. The other downside, unfortunately, is that just like the ad audience, once you add that subscriber to that list, you only have two options. One is to leave the subscriber in the audience forever, or to have them ejected after a fixed period of days. But again, in the right circumstances, that shouldn't be a limiting factor as you only want that subscriber to be in the campaign for a set number of days anyway. And that's it for this quick introduction to the ad audience and ad campaign activities in Journey Builder and Marketing Cloud. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, let me know in the comments below with a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the video so you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.